cellar? This is our root cellar. So this was our first major project. Um, we ended up doing about 1,400 bags, hand filled, hand sifted, wetted, all of that. I'll never do that again. We switched to Hyper Adobe and that's such a faster, easier process. Um, but what's nice about this is it'll stay like between 50 and 75 degrees all year round and we'll get like a difference of between like upper low hundreds to like upper teens out here. So it stays a pretty consistent temperature and this is for our community. So it's um, our pantry that all of our work warriors and stuff can go get food from. So yeah, this is our, our pizza oven. Um, this was, it's all just earth, sand, and clay. Um, and then we did a little bit of a lime plaster just really quick over it because we had some extra from um, another build that we we're doing, but this has been an awesome piece. We just had a bunch of pizzas, which I think are there now are gone. <laughs> and um, it's great because you can cook just a ton of stuff in here. So you kind of start with pizzas and then you pull your coals out and you can throw bread and stuff like that. So we'll have between five and 15 people living out here at any given point in time. So this is a great little community food spot. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, okay. Um, so this was actually, this was our, our pump house. And then basically we just built it out of like all scrap materials and stuff and just like got something up to be functional. Um, so for the first like year and a half, like our shower didn't really have walls and stuff. It was just like all open and then we didn't have hot water. So everyone complained over the winter that it was too cold to shower. So everyone ended up using my house. So last year we got this built and finished out. Um, and what's cool is it's all reclaimed bottles. And then at night, this all lights up. So oh, it's, on a, cool. it's just Christmas lights behind it. It's all oh, on a timer. And so huh. it, it all lights up. So it's like our little art piece. That's really cool. <laughs> So I really like it. Um, it looks awesome. Right? These we got from a lady of Disney. She was moving and she liked what we were doing. And so she's like, you want these? I was like, yeah, I want those. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to use them for. But, um, yeah, cool. And yeah, so we, I, I'm trenching for our electrical lines. I was working on that yesterday. Um, so we've got like washer dryer or washer in there and then our clothes line. Um, and then this door is like a little community shower. So. Okay much better this year and what's nice is like they've got the greenhouse or that clear plastic on the rest of the roof so it just bakes in there and then the, since the walls are thick cob even at like once it does get cold it still just radiates heat in there nice so it's like a little sauna that's cool yeah. <laughs> so and we have hot water now so people don't use my house anymore yep. which is nice that's probably nice yeah are and you then doing solar water heating um propane propane um, that okay. is a solar hot water heater that i bought yeah that's one of the few things that's just I think at this point there's so many cracks and stuff in it. Oh, uh, okay. Because gotcha. it kept exploding. And I realized, I learned you have to get a recirculating system with them. Yeah. So, like, you have to pump it into like a normal water tank when it gets too hot. And then I was like, that's like right. hundreds and hundreds of dollars more. So I'm just getting a hot water heater. Got it. I want to do um, solar hot water heater for the main house eventually. Um, but yeah, right now that just lives there. Gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so the bus, um, so the guy who used to do my road work and stuff, um, he, we were talking, he's like, I, he used to do junk and salvage stuff, and um, he had this bus in his junkyard, and he wanted to get rid of it, and I was like, I'll take it, and then um, he was like, yeah, sure, just pay me to tow it out there, and then we were, I was in the roots, so I was like 105 outside, and it was like 70-something down there. Yeah. 
and I, he was supposed to bring it out the next week. I called him. I was like, "What do you think about burying the pus?" And um, he was like, "Maybe you dig the hole. I don't care." Yeah. And so <laughs> he dug the hole, and then brought it down the road on a trailer. It had no engine, and like the tires were shot on it. He drug it off with a bulldozer and drug it in. Um, and dropped it in the hole. So on our YouTube, we have the full video, oh, really yeah. build out and wow. stuff. Um, and so yeah, that's it was. It's kind of our community space, and then it's our overflow um, workway spot. So um, right now we've got three beds in there. I want to switch it to like two, a punk bed and one bed in the back. How are you, sir? Oh, you know. <laughs> workshop working project and carriage and going under renovations um, so I went to Spain for a couple months uh, in June and July and originally this was like two gabions and then um, our green uh, yeah. the rock cages oh, oh yeah 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 got it um, like that that right there yeah around that pole um, so we had like a greenhouse and then we had a billboard tarp over it and it was all tied down and the billboard tarp kept blowing off so I was frustrated and I was like I'm leaving for two months. I don't want like all my tools to be exposed when that blows off. Right. So I tried to do a ferro cement over it, and it all collapsed. And so I was like, forget this. I'm building a shop. And so I just like, with no plans or anything, just started pulling stuff from my junk piles and ended up building this in like three weeks before I left here. So <laughs> the walls are like um, uh, rock. The so the outside are rock and pallets. Um, gotcha. Huh. It's still, like I said, I'm working on the inside now. Um, um, so this is all, these are the gay ones. And wow. My next project is to, which these were existing. Um, so you can see this was our um, frame for our greenhouse. Yeah. And then I just cut the top off that had collapsed. And then did these uh, C channels, which I already had on the property, and then pallets. And just hurricane tied everything down. I'm sure this is not to any sort of building code sure. in any <laughs> book. I was just figuring it yeah. out as I went. Um, but then what I like to do on everything is in the back corners here and on that back wall, you may be able to see there's cinder block. Yep. So I don't like putting wood on the ground ever because we get termites. And so right. what I'll do is get like three pieces, three foot pieces of rebar, drive those into the ground, put them on cinder blocks, and then bolt up. Right there, yep. like it bolts through, so that way the structures it's into the ground three feet, concrete, and then walls. Uh, and these are just so the, the front and back wall I bought the lumber for that was just Home Depot, and then the rafters I bought the lumber for. But I think as it sits, I probably have about three grand into okay. it. Um, and then uh, asphalt paper on the outside, and then stucco wire, and then ferro cement. Here. So, wow, cool. A lot of fun. Actually, Wayne's been helping us out a lot. With, he has a little baby backhoe, okay. and so he's been helping us sift while we're working on it. Um, so I've, he's accumulated a lot of hours when we work on his property. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> but it's so much easier than hand sifting everything. Um, so this is the basement for the main house, and then the outer ring here is going to be a, another big cylinder. That's going to be our supposed to be just a small couple month project and then I realized it was way bigger than what I was expecting. <laughs> yes, projects do. Um, yeah. So this was, it's a 15 foot interior diameter with a loft. So it, once it's done, it'll be about 280 square feet, um, which will actually be bigger than my house. Um, 
and I think we've got 18 inch bags most of the way up and then we switch to 16 inch bags at the very top uh, just because we could and I got tired of filling 18 inch bags um, but basically this was a test house so I wanted to screw up on a small scale project instead of a large scale project sure um, we got the bag work done in about three months um, and yeah it's Coming along, I will never do the bottles this way again. Mm. You can see they're already starting to fall out, so I gotta figure out how to fix that. But um, it's been a good learning opportunity, <laughs> and it will be a really cool house. Yeah. Posts, so it's going to be just a big single slope roof oh, okay. um, with those four posts, and then it ties into the building. So we'll have basically three um, long beams, and then the rafters going across that. I, I got to figure out a welder situation um, before I can get those posts welded up. Um, I did a workway there before I moved here in 2019. Oh, it cool. broke the frame of the house because it's all welded. It's a welded steel house on a boat frame that I found off Craigslist. Um, oh. And basically, the structure was compromised. So I didn't want to tow it anywhere ever again. And so I um, cut the tongue off, took the wheels off, put it up on blocks, and then we've been working on cobbing and plastering it. I need to put a new roof on it because it leaks, because it used to be the whole back wall opened. And there's like a kitchen in the back, um, and then a little bedroom. It gets, it gets into it like it and the sun will kill <laughs> these tarps, huh? Uh, so I, I don't use tarps oh, anymore. Okay. These are actually billboards. Oh, um, interesting. And they work so much better, and they're a lot cheaper than like even the Harbor Freight tarps. Really? Um, so I think like a 48 foot by 14 foot delivered was like 100 bucks. Oh, wow. Um, and then you can cut them up to whatever size huh. you need. So if you just Google, I don't know if I don't remember the company. Um, but if you just Google like billboard tarps, um, that's it, nice. Yeah, and we've got a rat in there that's shredding our toilet paper that I haven't dealt with. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so this was this is one of our current projects. But we had a, a guy living in here before we renovated. We recently redid the out inside. Now we're redoing the outside. Um, mm -hmm. He was a like splatter painter, and he was an old dude that smoked weed all the time. And so when he left. He was like,